The third subdivision of division tracheophyta is Sphenopsida. The plants belonging to Sphenopsida are also called as arthrophytes because they have joints in their body, like the joints you can see in the figure. And then uh, we can see that uh, they have uh, two roots, leaves and stem, and uh, the stem bears nodes, or is nodes a world of leaves originate? Hote hai. The round pattern jo aap leaf ka dekh rahe hai, it is called world of leaf or leaf may be scale like like that shown in figure or they can be uh, expanded and uh, then uh, we can see that the stem is not smooth uh, in spite it is, ma ma it is uh, made up of ridges and uh, furrows uh, like uh, you can see this common example of a land uh, which comprises of ridges and furrows. Uh, you can see here these are called ridges and these are called furrows. So we know that the sporangiophore bears uh, organ which is called as sporangia and uh, these sporangia aggregate to form strobilus and uh, you can see the uh, figure of uh, strobilus here and the cross section of uh, strobilus show that these are structures which, which is called as sporangiophore and they bear spores inside them and uh, they aggregate to form uh, strobilus. Talking about the gametophyte, it is thalloid and it uh, grows on clay, mud or soil, for example, in case of equisetum. Uh, now we will see the life cycle of uh, equisetum. Uh, actually, this is a sporophyte, plant body bearing sporophyte and then a gametophyte, as we discussed that it is uh, thalloid and uh, uh, this is the uh, vegetative shoot which bears uh, roots and uh, rhizome too. And uh, this uh, fertile shoot bears strobilus and uh, strobilus in turn has a uh, sporangiophore and uh, sporangium and uh, these sporangia uh, inside the sporangium spore mother cells undergo meiosis and produce various spores and uh, these spores uh, develop to form uh, enthridia and uh, archegonia and after fusion of an, uh, eggs and sperms zygote is produced uh, which then form the plant body. So this is all about the life cycle of equisetum.